Controlling a derived median plane on a regardless of feature size basis can be difficult to inspect. When the design allows, adding the MMC modifier can greatly simplify inspection. This tip will show you how. Prior to the 2009 revision of the Y14-5 standard, the control I'm about to show you was accomplished by using straightness associated with the size dimension. But as of 2009, we use flatness and it does make a lot more sense. And it's saying that the derived median plane down through this feature has to be flat within 0.3. That would be true if there wasn't the modifier here. But because we have the maximum material condition modifier, it says, hey, only at the largest size of 20.2 does it have to be flat within 0.3. What this does is it creates a boundary. So when I apply this, it overrides rule one. Without this flatness, this feature or part would have to fit through a slot at 20.2, also known as an envelope or a go gauge. By adding the flatness, we're saying no, it can be bigger acting, not bigger in size, but bigger acting than 20.2. So it could be at 20.2 and be bowed as much as 0.3. That creates a maximum material boundary, which is equal to the largest size plus the 0.3 flatness tolerance, which gives us an envelope of 20.5. So we just overrode rule one. We don't have to fit through that slot at 20.2 anymore. We have a new slot that's at 20.5. This becomes a single limit control. In other words, the only thing you have to do to check this flatness is make sure you don't violate that 20.5 envelope. So it could be done with a hard gauge, or another approach would be to master an indicator at the 20.5 value, and then when you run the indicator over the part with the part sitting down on the surface plate, all your readings better go down. If any of them go above 20.5, this wouldn't have fit through that slot that I mentioned, or that gauge. So this is a way of simulating a hard gauge without ever building one. And the other advantage is you're getting variables data for process control. In other words, you can keep track of the highest points and monitor if your process is getting closer to 20.5. You can correct your process before you ever make a bad part. You still must meet size, however. But size is only checked now with a two-point check, like a micrometer measurement. So I just have to verify when I use micrometers that it falls between 19.8 and 20.2 for point-to-point -point size. But then it could be out of flat more to make it act larger. Don't make GD&T tougher than it needs to be. We can help you control your part geometry while you experience minimum pain because... You know that here at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next step.